Hey, good afternoon. It's Jim from JagFX.com. It is Thursday, the 4th of June, 2020. It is currently 4.20 p.m. local here in Vietnam. This is a look at my 12-hour high probability charts. The new candle on the 12-hour charts was at 4 p.m., so 20 minutes ago. Not much happening, but I'm doing a bit of day trading at the moment, so I had to close some trades, etc. So let's have a look at the trading view chart. So this is my 12-hour watch list on the right. Uh, the ones highlighted in blue, ones that currently got trades on, the ones no highlight, no trades, and the ones in orange, which is just the two of them, are what I'm going to discuss in this video. So we'll start with the Oz New Zealand. This is my high probability setup. Now, what happened here is in this buy. Now, buys are designated by blue vertical line and a solid blue horizontal line. My stops are these red dotted lines. It's a bit hard to see, but it's just above that blue line. I was in a buy here. It already closed half, and this has come down and stopped me out. So that buy is no longer in play. That gave me a whopping profit of 24 cents. That's been added to my overall total. All these trades are recorded on the shared spreadsheet in Google Drive. Everyone's got access to them. Just a matter of going to the link in the description of this video. So every trade that's been recorded on the 12 hour chart since the 3rd of February is on that spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. Now this morning, oops, sorry about that. This morning I took a, um, a new cell. I didn't do a video because it's the only trade I had. So you know my signals, here's the red dot, the QMP filter. It's just a combination of this indicator, which is the MACD Platinum, a zero lag MACD, and another indicator which is not displayed called the QQE Advanced. Now, when the QQE Advanced cross and the MACD Platinum cross or dot is in sync, it produces this red or green dots on the price chart. So QMP, all it stands for is uh, Q for Q, QQE and MP for MACD Platinum. So it's just a combination. I don't know why I called it a filter. Should have called an alert or something like that. But anyway, I digress. So I took a cell here. Red trend lines mean bearish divergence, which so we've got, you can read my notes, you can pause the video. So I've taken a cell, regular bearish divergence. It's a high risk trade into the trend, but yeah, it's worth a shot. I did have a partial hedge buy on there, but that's gone, been stopped out. So green lines like this just mean something of significance. In this case, it's parity, 1.00. You can see how price bounced off it around there. So the MACD Platinum, I, try, trend, I tend to look for sells when it's above the zero level. This is the zero level here. And look for buys when it's below the zero level. So this is a sell signal taken this morning. Euro USD. Now the Euro has been on a bit of a tear. Bang, all the way up. So I was in a buy, which was a standalone trade, and it had a stop in place, which I've since removed. Uh, it had a, then it had a sell here on this sequence and a hedge buy. Because I've already had a partial buy, my overall break even, which are marked by these yellow dash lines, was um, well and truly taken out. So it was well and truly above my break even level. This Vertical grey line is just a warning signal, all right? So this here we have a red dot on the MACD platinum above the zero level, which means I'm starting to look for cells. Now, this thing's had a good move up, starting to show a bit of weakness. So all I did this afternoon was decide to close all three trades. So once I finish this video, I'll remove all these trades. And there I took a profit overall of $16.44. So none of these trades, are, I'll just remove the light on, on the video just to show you. Now my video is going super slow. All right, I'll do it after the video finishes. So basically, all these trades have been closed. So the euro, I don't know what's going on here. The euro is not, there is no trades at all. Um, so that's it on the video, guys. I'll tidy this up. Look, I'll just make it official right now. Untag it. No trades. So there's a profit of 16.44. That's been added to the total spreadsheet's been updated. Like I said, everyone's got access to that spreadsheet. That's it for the 12-hour charts. Um, I think there is what's on the news this afternoon is um, Euro interest rate news. I think, and that is coming up at uh, 6:45 p.m. So 
in about two and a bit hours. So just be careful that. It's not so much the actual rate itself, it's the subsequent, subsequent um, press conference, which is 45 minutes later. It's 7.30 my local time. So it's 4.30 now. So in about three hours, just something to be careful of. All right, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you do like the videos, please hit the subscribe button. button. If nothing else, hit the like button, and I will probably chat in about 12 hours or so. Cheers.